It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Bedecker family. Helen, Fred, Terry, Gary, and Elaine, ready for action. And the Silvers family. Bob, Helen, Larry, Tony, and Diane, on your marks. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Not too much applause. Just give me intellectual nods of the head and I'll understand. I can't stay long. We're double parked, but I can stay long enough to tell you we have a great show here. Two families come out, battle it out and try and win. The one family that wins, wins a lot of money. A family that did it yesterday, the Bedekers, right here. The winning family. Alan, you did it. Beautiful. You did it. $5,277. Congratulations. Now remind me now of your relationship. Who have you got with you? My son, Fred, my daughter, Therese, my son-in-law, Gary, and his mother, Elaine. And she's the one that flew in and helped <coughs> she you, She right? did, indeed. Fred, oh, you made it. Yes, you did back. it. Very good. You were the backup person. You were the second position, weren't yes, you? Yes, huh? And little Terry was the lady who got the score here. This is your husband, right, Gary. Terry. I didn't ask you, what do you do for a living? I'm an Orange County District Attorney. Watch out. <laughs> uh, ah, yes. That's why yes. I have a wedding band. <laughs> I can certainly I'd like to apologize if I've done anything wrong. And this is your mom, this right? This is my mom. Yeah. Who I'm madly in love with. Oh, great. Thank I you am. for coming back from Colorado. I love it. Every 5,000. Okay. Here's a family we met briefly yesterday. They're here to challenge you the silver. Yeah. Oh, right. All right. How you doing? Feel um, better now? Second appearance? Who did you bring along with you, Bob? I bought my wife, Helen, my brother, Larry, my sister, Tony, and my sister-in-law, Diane. Okay, it's nice to see you. And you're in the dress? Yeah, I manufacture women's sportswear. Right. Is that a good business to be in, or can you lose a lot of money? You can make a lot of money. That you can lose a lot of money. That's my question. Can you lose a lot of money? Yeah. I mean, pickpockets can make a lot of money, too. This is your pretty wife. How are you? Fine. How I want to hold your hand, see if you're calm and cool and collected. You are. How long have you been married? For three years. Any children? Yes, I have a little boy, 16 months old. Uh, what's his name? Lloyd Joseph Silvers. Hi, Lloyd Joseph Silvers. <laughs> Larry, how are you? How are you? Nice, nice to see you, you again. Now you're unemployed. Still unemployed. Hasn't Didn't changed. you get a job since I saw no. you the last time? No. <laughs> what do you do when you are employed? School psychologist. Oh, yes? Right. You're going to remain unemployed for a long time. <laughs> Tony, nice to see you. Hello. Are you excited about being here? Very. First time I I'm see very you? excited about meeting you. Oh, you're my favorite. You little devil. <laughs> and lovely Diane. Oh, oh, your hands are cold. You're not nervous, are you? I have Sister a warm Turner. heart. You have a warm heart? Yes. Well, that's a good enough for me. I wish both families the best of luck. Heads of families, join me for the face-off. Yeah, what good sports. Very nice. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers they gave us are up there on the board in order of popularity. Try and think of the highest scoring answer. This is the question. Name a famous prize fighter. Bob. Archie Moore. Archie Moore. Show me Archie Moore. <laughs> Not hey, there. Hey, Mom. Joe Lewis says, Helen, show me the brown bomber, Joe Lewis. Hey. There he is. In the number two position, 12 people. That means $12 goes in the bank. You control that bank. The way you build it up, you and your family can reveal the remaining answers on the board. If you leave any out at all, Bob and his family can steal the bank by identifying one answer. Are you going to play? Or are you going to pass? What do you want to do? Pass. Pass? They're going to pass. Okay, we'll see if the strategy works. I don't know if you know anything about him, but we'll try. A famous prize fighter, Helen. Muhammad Ali. Ah. Look like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Let me see Muhammad Ali. There he is. He's the king wherever he goes. 72 people said that out of our 100. 69 were punch drunk. Larry? Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh, there's another winner. Sugar Ray. Mr. Sugar Ray Robinson. There he is. $88. Three answers remaining. Here's a lady who looks like a fight fan. Give me a My prize fighter. Yeah. Um, uh, Frazier. 
Joe Frazier. Right. Good. Joe Frazier did not make our top six answers. That's the first strike. Diane, I need a famous prize fighter. Ken Norton. Ken Norton. Let's take a look. Ken Norton. Not there. Three answers remaining. Bob, it's up to you. Two strikes. One more strike, and they'll get a chance to steal. I need a famous <clears throat> prize fighter. Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Show me Jack Dempsey. There he is. $92 in the bank, Helen. Still two strikes against you. I need a famous prize fighter. All I can think of is Jerry Quarry. Jerry Quarry. Poor devil. <laughs> okay, let me see Jerry Quarry. Oh, Not there. Better because you got a chance. Talk it over. Patterson. George Patterson. Foreman. Foreman. George, George Foreman. How about George Foreman? Foreman. Helen, I need an answer. George. Foreman. George Foreman. Be up there, George, again. The man with the rubber legs. <laughs> if George Foreman is up there, you will steal that bank. If not, the Silvers will start this game off by keeping that money. Show me George Foreman. <laughs> The reason I said that he had rubber legs, I bet him when he fought uh, oh. Muhammad Ali in Zaire. Let me see the prize fighter, number five, Rocky Marciano. And number six, Gene Tunney. Same sort of man. Okay, you know where we go now. You have $92. You're the challenging family. You know what happens. The first family that gets $200 gets a chance because they win the game to go for the fast money. We'll see how this turns out right after we watch this. For the second question, the Silvers have $92. Nothing over here for the Bettikers. Fred, you can change it. Come here. Represent the family. Top six answers are on the board to this question. Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, God. Bananas. bananas. Let me see bananas. <laughs> something that comes in pairs. Helen. Love birds. Love birds. You both need help. <laughs> Show me love birds. Not there. You buzzed in first. Terry, a chance for you to help your family. Something that comes in pairs. Children. Children? <laughs> Show me children. Okay, now, Larry, you can do it because everybody else... Twins. Twins? Larry. Let me see twins. There they are. And you thought we were with dummies here. How silly. All right, you've got it now. 13 people said twins, $13 in the bank. Gonna play, gonna pass. We don't know. We don't pass. know. Pass it. Pass. No, pass it. Pass. Pass. Gonna pass? Rejoin our families and let's see. Okay, we already played Terry. Gary, name something that comes in pairs. Dice. A pair of dice or die. Show me dice. There. Three people said it, $16. Elaine, what comes in pairs? Shoes. Shoes. Oh, good. Speak up nice and loud. Shoes. <laughs> you just blew it. in the sound man's it. ear. I'm sorry. Show me shoes. <laughs> the most popular answer, 56 people. $72 there. Name something that comes in pairs, Helen. Socks. Socks, a pair of socks. Be up there, sir. Show me socks. All right. Thirteen, Senator. Silvers, maybe your strategy didn't work. It looks as though they know things. Eighty-five dollars there, Fred. Something that comes in pairs. Eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. Pair of glasses. No, of course, Will. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> show me eyeglasses. <laughs> I think they might work with four people in future. That's one strike. <laughs> didn't make our top six answers. Two more strikes, they will get a chance to steal. Terry, name something that comes in pairs. Earrings. A pair of earrings. Show me earrings. Oh. Didn't make the top six. One more strike. Gary, you can save the family. Name something that comes in pairs. Pants. Pants. Be up there. Be up there. Show me pants. Yeah. Three people said it, $88. Okay, Mom. 
Elaine, right now, do or die situation. Two strikes against you. You can make a clean sweep if you do it. Name something that comes in pairs. A pair of earrings. Oh, I said well, she that. Does. She already said that, oh, my I love. Oh, sorry, Terry. Give me an answer. Okay. Uh, Three seconds. Oh, sweetie, I can't think of a thing. <laughs> All right. Here's your chance. Talk it over. Give me an answer. Gloves. 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 All right, we'll both. Gloves. Gloves. Bob says gloves. If gloves is up there, you will keep that money in the bank. You'll be on your way to be the winning family. If not, the Bedekers will be on the board. Let me take a look for a pair of gloves. Oh! See what it was. Number five. Oh, married couples. Oh my goodness. Well, we got a game going. They're both scoring at the moment. We'll be back to see who wins this right after this. To the French. We're ready now to play round three. Larry, get up here. Terry, come represent your family. Ball of The challenging family have $92. The Benedict family have 88. This is the important question because all the dollar values are doubled. You remember this from yesterday, right? right? Up there, you see the top four answers to this question. Name a famous rock. Terry. Rock of Gibraltar. The Rock of Gibraltar. The <laughs> number one answer. Good girl. 44 people said that. We double it. $88 there. Okay. Whoever wins this is going to be the winning family. What are you going to do? What Play or pass? We're going to pass. We're going to pass. We're going to pass. Gonna pass? Just... Okay. Let's see if it works. Rejoin your family here. Tony, I'm coming to you now. Three answers remaining. Name a famous rock. All I can see is Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy. <laughs> Show me Mount Baldy. It is not there. It did not make our top four. That's one strike. Diane. The Blarney Stone. The Blarney Stone. Let's see if it's there. The Blarney Stone. Okay. There it is. There, Diane saves you. You got four more. We double that for eight. Ninety-six dollars in there, Bob. A famous rock. I'll have to go with diamond. That's all I can think of. A diamond rock? Big one. Is the business Big doing well? <laughs> Big one. Show me a diamond rock. Two strikes, one more strike. They pass, their strategy will have worked because they'll have a chance to steal the bank and become the winning family. Remain the winning family. Helen, you, a famous rock. Sugar loaf. Sugar loaf? That's a mountain, right? Oh, is that a mountain? Sugar yeah. loaf, all right. Let me see sugar loaf. Not there, here's your chance, better just talk it over. Rock right of now. Rock of Ages, Rock of Plymouth Rock. Plymouth, Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock. Helen says Plymouth Rock. If Plymouth Rock is up there, you will steal that bank. You will remain the winning family. You'll go for the fast money. If not, we have a new winning family named the Silvers. Show me the Plymouth Rock. Let's see what it was. I thought you won. I thought oh, that would get you over there. Here. Take a look and see what this rock is. Show me number one. Pet rock. Those are those exciting things you can buy for $18. We'll pause and settle this right after we watch this. Oh, wow. Eight. Excited and thought we had a winner and we don't. Gary, get up here. You can change that. Tony, get up here. All, All the values are doubled. Top three answers are there to this question. Name something you do in the water. Gary. Swim. Show me swim. <laughs> Number one. 80, double, 100. Where are you going? Come back here. You may be a DA in Orange County. You're just another pretty face to me. Gonna play? You're gonna pass. Play, Gary. Let's play. We'll play. 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 Let's see if it works. Okay. Elaine, name something you do in the water. Water ski. Water ski, show me water ski. Thanks a lot. Not there, did not make the top three answers. Helen. Float. Show me float. Ooh. One more strike. Fred. Bathe. Bathe in the water. Let me see bathe. Good. <laughs> Two strikes against you. You must be correct or they'll get a chance to steal and become yeah. the winning family. Name something you do in the water. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. 
Show me, brush your teeth. Not there. Here you go, Silvers. Talk it over. Give me a word. Fish or salmon? Fish or salmon? Wade, Wade, Wade. Fish. Fish. If fish is up there, you'll become the new winning family. If it's not there, the Bedekers will remain the winning family. Show me fish. <laughs> Listen, we thank you. You were a delight. We had prizes for you all. Thank Take you care. Much. Give her a big kiss for me. Off you go. Thank, thank you. you. Ah. I need the two people that will play Same two fast winners. money. Ooh, all right. Winners. Both come out here. Fred. Fred, are you going to go second? Yeah. Because that's a little harder than first. Go off to the soundproof oh, booth. I'll he stay here with Terry Hugger. We'll be back to play fast money right after this. Today, here's a replay. They're here again. Terry's gonna try for the fast money. Fred's in a soundproof booth. You know how we do this, Donald. I, I give you sure five do. questions, 15 seconds. Right. Give me five answers, okay. right? Try and think of the highest scoring answers that you can, the most popular ones. We pay you $5 for every point that you get. And as you did yesterday, if you and Fred can get 200 points, another $5,000, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll try. Give me 15 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. The time will start when I finish reading the first question. Name a time that most people get up. Six o'clock. Name a time most people go to bed. Midnight. Any southern state. Uh, Louisiana. Something you buy in a delicatessen. Ham. Something you put in tea. Sugar. That's five. Good girl. Good job. All right. Does it get any easier? Not really. All right. Turn around. We'll see how you did with the survey. I asked you to name a time that most people get up, and you said six o'clock. Wow. Our survey said oh, right. Early risers. Early risers. Good. Then I said a time that most people go to bed, and you said midnight. Our survey said Ooh. six. Thirty-two points. Okay. Any southern state, you wow. said Louisiana. Our survey said twelve. Oh. We got forty-four. Something you buy in a delicatessen. You said ham. Our survey said oh, two. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then something you put in tea. You said sugar. Our survey said 41. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got 87. That's not bad. Clear the board, please, so we can bring our Fred. You did okay. Go back, rejoin your family. And come on, Fred. Need 113 points. Okay. All right. Come she on. went over yesterday over 100. Right. Now it's up to you. Right. Second is harder because I ask you the same questions that I asked Terry. You cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you hear this sound. I'll say try again. Give me another answer. All right. Okay. All right. As it's harder, we give you an extra five seconds. Give me a total of 20 seconds on the clock, please. Remind all our friends at home the answers that Terry gave us. Good luck. Name a time that most people get up. In the morning. A time most people go to bed. At night. A southern state. North Carolina. Something you buy in a delicatessen. Pickles. Something you put in tea. A tea bag. <laughs> That's five, boy. Come here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to believe that this was the razor sharp mind from yesterday. I do my peak. What happened? Did the booth get to you? The air dry the oxygen? I was going to give the same answer, isn't it? <laughs> the brain frizzled completely. Yeah, completely. Let's turn around. This is going to be embarrassing for both of us, Fred. <laughs> you needed 113 points. You also need an earthquake to get you out of it. I said, name a time that most people get up. And being the Einstein that you are, you said, morning. When I get up, our survey said, zip. 
Oh, now, if that wasn't bad enough, I then said, name a time that most people go to bed. You said, of course, night. Our survey said, two. I had to ask you for a southern state. You said North Carolina. Our survey said four. Now, we know there are six people crazy. And then we said something you buy in a delicatessen. You said pickles. Our survey said six. Then something you put in tea. You said tea bag. Our survey said six. A total of four, Congratulations. If you enjoyed this young man's work, write in so we can send him to school, get the old brain working. Listen, you did well here and you got a lot of money. You have a total of $6,136. I'll settle for If I were you, I'd sleep in a motel tonight. <laughs> we'll all be here tomorrow. Next time we meet right here on The Family Feud. So, what'd you think of that two-hour conference call? Brutal. Whoa, where'd you find that? Internet. How come you wear so much cologne? I don't like to shout. You'll be buzzing all week from Game Show Network's Sunday Night Buzz. First it's Lingo, then Chuck Woolery Naturally Stone, GSN's first reality show. Then comics go joke to joke on National Lampoon's Funny Money, plus special episodes of Celebrity Cram. Catch a buzz that'll last all week. Sunday Night Buzz, Sundays at 9, Eastern and Pacific. And the Miromatic Whiz Grid Speed Grill. Froyle's food fast combines flavorful frying with the healthful benefits of broiling. Saves energy and reduces heat in the kitchen. Furnished by Miro. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.